Hey, what's up? This is Ed with edheart.me, and in this SketchUp snippet, I'm going to show you how to draw grooved rails and styles in SketchUp. So, I already have here some rails and styles made from 1x3 lumber, and they're going to serve as the, the frame of a cabinet door for this desk model I have. Flip right over here and let you take a look at that. So there you can see there I have the panel and the rails and styles uh, for the door right here. And so I wanted to draw out the actual grooves so that we can see them in the 3D model. So I also want you to see that I do have the hidden geometry. Uh, if I view that, I can see the panel that will fit neatly into the grooves. And turn that off. So what we're going to do is create quarter inch grooves all the way around the frame. And then we'll put a couple of tenons on each end of the rail that will fit right into the style. So let me just show you how to do that. We're going to use three main tools. We're going to use the tape measure tool to create some guides. We're going to use the pencil tool to draw lines. And we're going to use the push-pull tool to actually create the grooves or the tenons. So first, for starters, I'm going to just break this apart by using my move tool. And I'll move that style there, move that style over so I can see what we've got going on. And the first thing I want to do is create my quarter inch grooves on the inside of each of the styles. So in order to do that, I'm going to just zoom in so I see what I'm working with. I'm going to use my tape measure tool and I'm going to create some guides. Okay, uh, there's the midpoint uh, in the group. So I want to create a guide that runs down the inside face. So I'm just going to come over here and put my tape measure on the edge in the group click and draw a guide right over to the to the midpoint now this is uh, this is one by three lumber which we know is three quarters inch thick so I'm gonna place my guide right there and you can see um, from there to there it is three eighths inch and from there to there it's also 3 8 inch, so it's always good when you're doing this technique to make sure you're dead center, and SketchUp should snap right there for you. Now I'm going to create two more guides, an eighth of an inch from the center. And you can see down the bottom right I'm actually typing. So one eighth inch. So now I've created a quarter inch space here. An eighth plus an eighth is a quarter, and I'll grab my pencil and I'll make some lines on each guide, not the middle one, but on each side guide. So I'm going to click, I'm going to zoom out, and then drag down here and zoom back in so I can see where I'm clicking. So I'm going to click right there, and now I'll click right here, zoom out, zoom back in. I'm just using my the trackball on my mouse to do this zooming in and out. And I'll hit escape to let go of the line. Okay. So now, before I can take the push-pull tool and, and push this part of the face in, I'm going to have to explode my group uh, because I have the whole style uh, highlighted as a group. So if I hit explode, I can modify each one of the individual faces. And now I can just grab my push-pull tool. You can see it highlights right there. I'll click and I'll push it in one quarter inch. So now I have my uh, dado groove all the way down that style pushed in one quarter inch so I'll, hi I'll triple click turn that back into a group now I could copy it and then flip it over um, and that's how I could create this other one I'll, uh, I'll just do it my way right quick and find my midpoint here okay so three eighths of an inch, one eighth, and one eighth. Take my pencil tool, draw there we go. Let go of that line, explode the group, take my push pull tool and push it in one quarter inch. Turn that back into a group. And now I'm going to show you how to put 
the same groove and the tenons on each one of the rails. So let's start with the uh, tenons. Again, exactly the same technique. On the edge of the group, we'll pull this over to the 3 8 inch mark. Do exactly the same thing. 1 8 inch. 1 8 inch. Take my pencil. And now this time, instead of using the push-pull tool to push that face in, I'm going to simply take it and pull it out a quarter of an inch. One quarter. And there we have the tenon that will fit right into uh, what is a long mortise or dado uh, groove. So let me just flip around and, oops, excuse me turn that back into, no, I don't want to turn back into a group yet. I want to spin that around. Do the same thing right here. I like to type my measurements down in the bottom right here because uh, sometimes I jerk my hand right at the last minute and make uh, my guide not where I want it to be. So pull that out one quarter inch. And then lastly, we need to create the same guides down at the bottom. Now I don't have to go all the way into the middle because I know that this is right exactly at a uh, a quarter inch so I can create my guide and just stick it there and there. I do have to take my pencil and draw. Take my push pull tool, push that in one quarter of an inch. And now you'll see I have my rails drawn out and ready to slide into the style. I'm not going to go down and redo the bottom one just for the sake of uh, time and because I, I think you probably get what I'm doing. But uh, now I can take my move tool, put that back together as a group, and I can take my move tool and zoom in a little bit and just grab a corner and put it right there. So you can see how that fits together nicely. And uh, the same with that one right there. So that's how you create the grooved rails and styles in SketchUp uh, for the purpose, at least, of making this cabinet door. And uh, you can use it for lots of other uh, purposes too. So if you're interested in, say, this desk or any one of my other projects, head on over to my site at edhart.me and check them out. Got lots of uh, projects for you to look into. Thanks so much for watching.